I feel like for me, the happiest times that I've had have been when I've been making money. Like, forget the relationships. If I'm grinding and I'm making my money, that's when I'm the most happy. Yeah, nah. he's got things. Yeah, you know but I mean? nah. I have men don't know how to be alone. Like, this is the biggest lie. I got the new furniture and I got the new this, and then I realized, like, these things don't talk back to me. I need people in my life. And materialism can take place of that. Sometimes you can get those things and then realize, like, oh shit, this shit don't make me feel warm, though. Like, right. it actually doesn't make me feel whole. I don't feel grounded in anything with everything that I got, which is why you hear stories about millionaires as soon as the stock market crash and jumping out of windows and shit like that because like you can never place your value in materialism we hear that exact opposite when i was attracted to a girl with a fat ass and some big ass titties and I mean, a slim waist and huge hips big lips that's what i wanted 30 years from now like okay you want the fat ass the big titties the bbl the... well a nice body's a nice body it doesn't yeah. have to be men are always going to be visually attracted yeah it does not have to be all right, welcome back to another episode of Daily Wrap Up Crew. No book of, I go by the name of Eli. As always, we got Jew with us. What to do, what to do. Just came from the rain. That shit got me soaked. I can't say it because it's going to be poor, so I'm going to leave it alone. I had a rhyme, <laughs> bro. Nah, yeah, I'm this gonna... is a mature podcast. No, 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 I don't. Man, like I, no, 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 no. Like, enjoy your day. Enjoy zone. the show. We going to go with the flow. Fuck you oh, talking about. There God. you go. Hey, you brought back hey, around. Hey, hey, it's a judgment-free zone, man. Anyway, man, we got Wolf filling in for Ace, man. Let them know where they can follow you at. Hey man, you can follow me at underscore Wolf Taylor, and I just dropped the podcast on my own that I'm gonna have these fellas on very soon. So uh, halfway up podcast, check me out. Yeah, go mm -hmm. check that podcast out, man. Yeah, we some doing real, things. some real deep stuff over there, man. We ain't yeah. got no bars for the folks, man. What's up? Nah, I ain't know I was. I ain't know I was gonna be nah, filling you, in. Hey, for well, you, you, I, right, I would have had right, you. I would have right, had you. Right, right. right. Anyway, right. we got some special <laughs> guests, ladies. Let them know where they can follow you at. Hey y'all, I'm Tiana. You can follow me at tiana.com underscore on Instagram. I have my own business too. It's called Drape Inc. And shout outs to Chemistry Lingerie. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's up? I'm Ashley. My Instagram is Ashley's World X underscore. And the water don't stop nothing, by the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, okay. Like, uh -huh. Appreciate you. Just gonna hit us with a bar real quick. No, no, I was like, I'm saying, I'm not even know. Okay, maybe in a few. In a few? In a few later. Don't worry, worry. I gotta hold it to you. A few more sips of water. Yeah. <laughs> and last but not least, you're I'm Genesis. You can find me on all social media accounts at I am Genesis.nyc. And I'm just an overall creative, you know. Mm -hmm. She said, You're you're she you know she's from New York. Yeah. Yeah. Brooklyn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, before we get into these topics, make sure you already know the drill, man. Hit the like uh the like button, subscribe. Mm -hmm. If you're not already subscribed, hit that notification bell. Join the membership. I'm telling y'all, join the membership. We got a lot of exclusive access behind there. We got some we got some interviews lined up. Wolf already know, man. We got some interviews lined yeah, up. Man, you're gonna have to be in tune. Make sure you join the membership in. Oh, I had on the merch. He did no, have on the merch. Right? What you got on today, bro? Yeah, yeah. What's going on with you? I'm out here talking sex yeah. sex you know oh, oh, okay. oh, you know what I mean? Okay. Stamp me. You heard? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, I, I got the merch on still. DailyRabbitCrew.co, man. Go get the merch, man. Let me get to this first topic, right? Um, are women finding more happiness being single than in relationships? What's your thoughts on this? I would love to know the answer. Mm -hmm. I do want to preference this. Um, there was a study... There's always they always got a study that come out every every couple of weeks. <laughs> they got a study that come every with three the, out of five. You know what I'm saying? But um, this survey that they did, um, they you know surveyed a group of men, women and men, and the survey found that more women I think it was 61 percent of women are um, happier single compared to I think 49 percent of men that reported um, being happy single. So why do you think the the mm. percentage for women being um, happily single is so high nowadays? Hmm. You know, women have like a, what is it, a ticking clock? What do you call it? Biological like clock. Like a biological yeah, clock. Mm -hmm. So I feel like a lot of, women cannot handle, no one can handle stress, first and foremost. But women, you know, their bodies, I don't know, I just feel like women have that clock that they have to take care of themselves. And women actually outlive men. So that stress that comes with being in a relationship, a woman can't really deal with that. So I feel like a lot of women are choosing to be single. Plus, you know... Dealing with the cheating and stuff like that, they could just be alone, just be happy alone. That's crazy. So relationships are stressful to women. Um, to everybody. <laughs> I mean, it depends, like on the relationship you are in, because there are people that bring you genuine happiness, like mm -hmm. your significant other or your partner. And you know, all the time, it's not going to be a hundred percent happiness because if you're in a real relationship, you know there's ups and downs. You're not always going to be happy, mm -hmm. but it depends on, are you willing to leave to go and be single and sleep in the bed every night 
to yourself, you know it don't feel good being single. That's true. But I feel like everybody has their own journey, especially when it comes to relationships. And some people are happy being single. They rather do whatever they want, do as they please, don't have to answer to nobody. Oh, I'm here, I'm there. Somebody checking their location and pulling up, I'm outside. Like some people go through that. And that's what makes relationships now these days don't seem appealing to people. Yeah. That's why they rather be single. Cause it's like, why would I deal with all of that when I could just be single? Exactly. And mm -hmm. I'll be at different levels in my life, going here, there, new doors opening, I'm here, I'm there. And when you're in a relationship and you're not happy, things in your life will not be happy because you're not gonna get the freedom to do what you want that makes you feel happy. Mm -hmm. So I honestly feel like it depends on the person. True. Because you could be the happiest at the happiest in your life mm -hmm. with somebody and they could be doing wrong things, but are you going to really leave them or like cancel out all of that just because somebody does one, two things that you don't like that make you unhappy? I'm pretty sure we do things too on the other end, like one, two things, but that doesn't make you be like, all right, nah, I'm about to be single, throw all this out. Mm. I don't know. That's just how I feel. But some people, they rather be single. I know a lot of people that they're single and they're just like, at the end of the day, they're just depressed and sad. Right. I mean, at the day, at the end of the day, the day's gonna end. Yeah. So it's up to it's you whether you want to end it alone at the end of the day. <laughs> or end it with somebody else. So, yeah, yeah. so what, what do you think about this, Genesis? I mean, I think I agree with her. Like, it really depends on the person. Like, mm. but also to find single. You mean single, but you still dealing with people, like, the or you single and color. you're like by yourself? Because even if you're not in a I committed know. relationship. And you have a sneaky link or something. That's still uh, a relationship. It might not be committed. It might not be your man or your girlfriend. Form but it's still a relationship. And also, like, not it's just, not like... It's not established. How is that a relationship? Because you still have a relationship between two people. You know, you still have to I communicate with people. That's not body parts, you know? Yeah, yeah. But it's still a relationship. Like, even... I'm not even... If we're friends, we would have a relationship, right? Okay, yeah, friendship. So, yeah, so, I mean... There's is fuck it. You know You're always going to have relationships. Yeah. That's yeah. body part yeah. friends. I don't Fucking know. Mm -hmm. What would you ladies yeah. say you would be more comfortable being single or, or happy being single? Mm, or happy being I'd single? rather be in a happy relationship mm. than be single. I feel like but single. If, if I'm in a relationship and it's not happy, I'd rather be single. Right. Mm. What about you? Same. Because oh. you want to find happiness. You want to find that person to make you even happier. But mm -hmm. I feel like for me, the happiest times that I've had have been when I've been making money. Like, forget the relationships. If I'm grinding and I'm making my money, that's when I'm the most happiest, whether I have a man or not. I'm glad. I'm you glad. You, I mean? I'm glad you said that because I'm gonna bring that full circle. Oh, what, that uh, what, what's your you thoughts know? on this? Why do you think women are reportedly um, happier single? I mean, when you're single, you don't have to listen. You don't have to adhere to any rules. You don't mm -hmm. have to adhere to anybody's expectations, or you don't got to listen to what somebody expect of you. So, like, if you're in a relationship, definitely. Let's say you. You feeling good? You feeling fly? I'm about to step out tonight, and your man might say like, "Oh, like I don't really approve of what you got Where on you right going? now." Right? Like that. Those are type of things that a woman she completely evades those type of things when she's uh, single. She can do whatever she wants. She can stay out as late as she wants, come home as late as she wants to. Don't even come home. Do whatever she want to do. Be with as many dudes. So I think being single <laughs> comes with a life of just freedom where it's like I don't have to listen to anybody. Not for me because my brother will tell me about myself real quick. The other brother, day, well, I don't have no As a good brother, brother should. Some people don't listen, have no brother. Brother like, the other day, remember when, we, when yeah. we linked up to an event and I had on these short shorts and they weren't even that short and they were white and he was like, where you going like that? He handed me a shorts of Shout his to, to put yeah. on. Also, Shout out to Big Bro. Nah, he was like, nah, he got the He handed me like a shorts. You ain't gonna wear some three-fourths. What did you say? That's it. Three-fourths. I just put them on. You listen to him? No, she put was, the basketball shorts on. And I took them off for the picture and then I put them back on. Yo. She a keeper, y'all. She a keeper. Make sure y'all get that Instagram. Oh, I, just, I, just, I, just, I just didn't want to hold them. So I was like, fuck, I'll just put them on. You know what yeah. I mean? But like, That's tight. Yeah. That's Shout out to her, bro, man. My yeah. sister would have been like, fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I told the group chat and the group chat was like, whatever. That means that your fit is eating. And I was like, you know, but like. Yeah, but you respect his, his uh, perspective. Yeah, because at the end of the day, like we have a lot of conversations because, you know, like he really follows like that, like high value man that he needs to mm. be the, the provider and he needs to be the one. Like he really has like the traditional gender roles. Yeah. So I listen to his perspective just because like I'm always going to listen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I feel like a good perspective. That's is good. That's that's a, that's a, that's a listen, thing. but I might not hear you though. Yeah, exactly. That's great sign. And I feel like he's a man that's only going to want the best for me. Like, he's not going right. to lie to me because he wants to get something out of me. Like, right. that's my brother. Your brother. Yeah. He got your best interest. Exactly. Yeah. I'm 
gonna tell you the, the one, your loved ones is gonna be they're gonna tell you the truth True. and they're gonna be more honest than you than any other Absolutely. person that you're gonna Absolutely. deal with. You know I wish I had like, a brother. Now my mom, have, she gonna be brothers. hating. She don't care what I put on, she gonna be hating. You know, yeah. so, like you wearing that? Yeah. <laughs> she, my mom, mom be laughing. Yeah. I've been putting my clothes on, she be laughing at me. Like you ain't so, got no gloves on, yeah. you so scared. <laughs> so Jew, what, what's your what's your thoughts about why you? Oh man, my name Ace, man. Y'all said everything. You get what I'm saying? But I would I would just say that um. With women in power, they just rather f feel superior to, to men. You get what I'm saying? I, I I could be wrong, but you know, I would just say on retrospect, like I don't believe a lot of men would prefer to be single. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of things that men do is so we can get a woman or a woman's attention. And I, I believe women can think they don't need a man, you know, in yeah. retrospect, but I think we all better off in a, a successful relationship. I want to say any relationship. You know what right? I hear though? A lot of men, like my friends and stuff, they'll say they don't know how to be alone. Like men don't know how to be alone. They always have somebody to fall back on if their mm -hmm. first situation don't work out. They got the next one right there waiting. I, be I believe women have that. They got yeah. you know the, the boyfriend not at work. As consistent. Sure. I'll be honest, not as consistent. Like I feel like men are very consistent. It's harder for a man to get a woman. Than a woman to get a man. You can, yeah. you can whether yeah, the man look true. good yeah, or whether the man What man we gonna get? Yeah. Huh? What man? One. The we one that we want is gonna be hard to get. Yeah, the no, one that you want. No, but you guys are not putting the initiative to get that man. Yeah, y'all want it for you. him, right? Where a whole bunch of dudes are still talking to you. We yes. would have to talk to thousands of women to probably yes. find out the right one that we want to be with. Up, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot. Of, even the most lot of work this time down. You know, I think just to go back to the topic is just. Number one, we can't. We gotta take these surveys with a grain of salt because it's like right. you know you ever watch you ever um, read surveys and be like, yo, they never surveyed me. What the fuck they never see these, these results out. from? Like, you know right. what I mean? so, again, we gotta take these surveys with a grain of salt. Right. Um, I don't obviously it's a small percentage of the population that they get these surveys off of, and anybody they try to make it seem like it's a fact, which is not a fact. Right. Um, and then number two, I don't think women would admit. Some not someone would admit that they are lonely Great or whatever. They're they gonna try to make it seem like, oh, you know, I'm happy, like being I single and stuff like that. Oh, no. Yeah, like you know I what I mean? So I, I don't think that survey is 100 percent necessarily true. I I do agree there are women that do feel like, you know what, well, a relationship is a burden. I gotta do this, that, and a third. We have women on the show who express all the time, like, well, you know, if I'm being in a relationship, like, you know, I still have to work, you know, I still have to do traditional gender roles, I still have to do so they do feel like there's more of a burden on them within the, the dynamics of a relationship, which is understandable. Um, but again, I always go back to this. I feel like we just talked about this a couple, maybe a couple of years ago when there was a different, uh, not a couple of months ago when there was a different survey, more or less saying the same thing. Um, I just feel like, I just think that there's, I'm not going to say it's an agenda, but again, when you keep, the only people that benefit from people being single is the government, right? You know what I mean? Especially mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. women, because women are the biggest consumers in America. They are the ones that are buying the majority of everything, right? Mm -hmm. So if you incentivize, incentivize women to stay single and you keep giving them these surveys, what are they going to What do single women do the most? Girls trips, vacations, shop. they work more. You know what I mean? They shop, they buy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, of course, when you look at the confines of a of marriage, you know, people in marriages tend to save more money. Like You know what I mean? They tend to, you know, buy less. They consume less food and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. I think... I'm not saying there's an agenda there, but again, when you constantly push this narrative to women, like, okay, you're happy single, because what does that mean? You're going to work more, you're going to work longer, you're going to vacate. Like, so there's all of these things that add up. You know what I mean? I so. can't imagine how broke my girl would be if I wasn't around. <laughs> Cause her phone oh stay no, cause she loves no, mine. For real, so I'm for real. I'm there and I'm like, nah, we don't need that. So you think so you think without you, she wouldn't be able to live the life that she's no, living she no, she would, but she would be living uh, uh, like check to check. Yeah, probably yeah. Be like a, you yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm yeah. helping her save her bread a little bit yeah. more because she likes what she likes. And she right. buy, so I'm there like, yo, I know yeah. you like it, Make but you, you better be able to buy five. Wait of next them. month. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And and I think another thing is too, I think men prioritize things differently when the confines of a marriage and, and family like you know mm -hmm. we're more about duty like you know what i mean that's yeah, why bros. when you hear we always talk about this happy wife happy life like we prioritize the woman's happiness over our own happiness yeah. a lot of times in relationships you know what i mean so you know our thing is like damn we're not happy we try to make sure our family is happy our family is good so we might sacrifice our happiness we're not gonna tell we usually mm -hmm. not gonna tell people we unhappy like you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah. but take care you know yeah we're just trying to do our best to take care of the family so right. Um, again, I just think we should take these surveys with a grain of salt. Why do you, you feel know? men can't express when they're unhappy, feeling lonely? Like, why is that so hard for men Not to? Not that they can't. Just... 
but they don't want to. They choose. Yeah, but what, who's to. gonna it's do something about man. it? Because he said duty. You don't know that's your it's job. called man. I think yeah. that's like I do agree. Women say that, and I think what's happening now, which I, again we talk about sassy, and I know this is like episode. This is the, we gonna put it's the, not sassy. we gonna put the continuation because it's like an episode. I really be my guys Fifteen like, in a row, we use the word like, sassy, but again. When before I noticed that women used to complain that men were very stoic, they didn't show emotions or they mm-hmm. didn't open up. Right. Now, when we see the rise of men say, you know what, I want to express myself more. Now we're hearing the rhetoric yeah. of, well, that's sad. See, no. like, you express you know yourself too much. It, like, you know what I mean? So, you know what I think it is? It's not that we don't want to hear it. We want to hear it from who we want to hear it from. Because if it's somebody that you're not trying to take serious, it's like you're going to look at them and they're pouring out their feelings to you and you're just like, okay, you're being a bitch. But if it's somebody you really want to be with, you'll look at them and try to compromise with that. But see, and it's a miscommunication yeah. because obviously if he felt comfortable with telling you that, knowing that men usually ain't comfortable doing yeah. that, he might be thinking y'all on a different page. Yeah. yeah. So that's when, that's, if, if you do feel that way, I, I suggest any side, a man or woman, they would have to let that person know. No. And I think another issue is when it comes to that, um, sometimes women ask what was you know what's going on with a man but they're not comprehending so right. it's like yo i'm like yo man i'm shit going on and i feel like i'm not doing this that yeah babe i hope you feel better but not really comprehending how to fix that issue for that yeah. man or just misread the situation yeah, yeah. And take it, just, it like you see you just hear something completely different out of what i said and kind of make it about you it's like this mm. is not about you i'm bothered by something completely different mm-hmm. so this is a relationship i i mean that's the only person i'm not Telling regular Jane, Jane, Janie, and Jamie up in here like yo, and and I think that men have been vulnerable or been you know open with women, and sometimes we sit on the show. Sometimes it gets weaponized against us, especially if there's a heated argument. You might bring up something that I told you in a in a moment of you know I was trying oh, to pull myself out. But you know what I mean? Do huh? that to you. No, I'm not saying too. they don't. I'm just mm-hmm. saying that some men have experienced that, and they're like, you know what? I don't want to. I don't want to be in that situation, so I'm never going to open my. I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm just saying these are mm-hmm. some experiences that men have dealt with. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So um, let me get to this next topic, right? Um, how has ma- uh, materialism? And I think we kind of like was going into, it, but how has materialism um, affected our society as a whole? Like, you know what I mean? I think materialism is a big effect on our society because people think people think they need what they want, you mm-hmm. know? And it's like you you want what you need. Like, okay, you need to pay your bills, but you want to go and do go the club or you want to mm-hmm. go bring some <laughs> random girl here or do something here. That's mm-hmm. what you want to go do, but what you need to do is pay your bills. True. People rather want what they need. Mm -hmm. Mm. I don't know. I just feel like sometimes if you don't have it like that, you shouldn't be out here doing the most. You should be trying to spend your time with your family, you know, take care of them, bring them out, not living up to a lifestyle of materialism, have the latest, what, shoes, latest jeans, latest bag. Okay, and where are you living though, Section 8? Okay. Mm. But that's the thing too, like we get peer pressured into like, Elevating into these things, like I'm 27 and a half. I turned 28 in December. Wow! And, I, and a, a lot of people, you know, that little six months matters. But like, it does. It does. People it does. do bully me, like, oh, why are you, why are you about to be 28? You pushing 30? You still got your mama crib? But what they don't know is that I used to be homeless when I was 19. Mm. So I'm not gonna risk being in the streets because okay. you know what I mean. Mm. And it's like I'm gonna be living at home because well, I'm I'm outside working. Like I do stuff. Like I'm not just gonna be in the crib all the time. Yeah. And I also run my own business. Like I could spend three, four racks on an apartment, mm-hmm. but I'm gonna be by myself. I don't find nothing. I'm gonna be lonely as hell. Yeah, I don't, I don't find and then, like, I'm gonna have friends Same over. Room. I'm gonna. What's the point? I want to go from my mama crib to owning my own home. For mm-hmm. me, renting doesn't make any sense. No. You're right. I am pushing thirty, and so I hope to find a man soon to settle down. What's the point of me going on rent? I'd rather just save that money. Yeah. You no, know, me living fair. at home is nothing crazy. But if I keep listening to my friends telling me, "Oh, this, all that," don't listen. Then to I'm gonna them. be like, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna feel peer pressure into it. And just like, just like today, you came with a nice Prada bag. You came with a nice Louis Vuitton. You know what I'm saying? So girls see them, they're like, "Oh, she dripping. She that. She got." this mm-hmm. you know so it's just like they're gonna think that oh i have to get that in order to like fit into this group yeah, yeah, and it's like you don't really have to do that if you want to that's fantastic you know but if you don't want to then it's like that validation that. almost that i'm people right like, yeah. yeah i'm definitely firm on like staying in your lane like if it's not for you don't do it don't try mm-hmm. to impress others because the people you trying to impress half the time be living with their mom still mm-hmm. broke like don't don't even got a job like mm-hmm. they just want to impress the next man like and just oh women staying yeah. in yeah 
definitely women. You just want to stay in your lane, like. And I have no shame in saying where I'm at. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Because yeah. right. like, like I said, know? I don't think that's an issue. Nah. I know we talked about that. You know, just about how you know when you're younger, your parents is always trying to kick you out. You got to get your own. But I think we need to do a better job at you yes. know sheltering mm-hmm. our children and yes. making sure they are ready for that world because mm-hmm. it's a hard world out right. there. Right. Like, I you know definitely I mean? wish I had that luxury, like right. girl, because I like Polo G's mom. I don't know if y'all seen that. Like she said, she didn't kick her son out until. He like kicked up his rap career, yeah, or something like that, and I was just like, "Damn, that's, that's like a thing. as a black mother too, like mm-hmm. that's really lovely to have that luxury." Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm yeah, not kicking none of my kids out. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't want to. I want to be in the like. I will be charging the ass. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's your thoughts on this, man? How's uh, materialism affecting our culture and society? Oh, well, one, I just think there's nothing wrong with wanting things. You know, um, striving for things gives us motivation to be at a place where you don't have anything and get try to get to the other side where you finally can have it. So I think that's fine. But I think materialism can definitely play a role in just distracting us. Like sometimes maybe the allure and the value placed on the bins and the value placed on even the house can maybe... Like there's a song that Ari Lennox got called, um, I think, New Apartment. Are y'all familiar with Ari Lennox at all? Yeah, Ari, okay, so like at the end of the song, there's a... Um, like a what you call it, like a sketch, uh, mm-hmm. a, a skit. A skit. At the end, yeah. a, a skit, and she's saying like, "I got the new furniture and I got the new this," and then I realized like these things don't talk back to me. I need people mm-hmm. in my life, mm-hmm. and materialism can take place of that. Sometimes you can get those things and then realize like, "Oh shit, this shit don't make me feel warm though." Like right. it actually doesn't right. make me feel whole. I don't feel grounded in anything with everything that I got, which is why you hear stories about millionaires as soon as the stock market crash and jumping out of windows and shit like that because it's like you can never place your value in materialism. It mm-hmm. just can never be grounded in something like that. It's like building your house out of sand. The water comes, it's down. You right. know what I mean? But you look no good sense. on the outside, you look good, though. but you're empty yeah. on the inside. So it's okay to have nice, go, go have nice things right. by all mm-hmm. means, you know what I mean? But you cannot ground your sustainability as a person in that. You do that in family. Yeah, live among your means. Yes, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, I think that, you know, um, and I know me and Jew is the same way. Jew even more than me. But when we was younger, mm-hmm. like Jew was a sneaker head, like crazy, dripped out, yeah, super yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Jews, and mind you, Jew is one of the cheapest niggas I know. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, you get what I'm saying? That but, was his price. Yeah, 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 but I, I think, you know, there was a point where I was, you know, I didn't have, when I was growing up, I didn't have as many sneakers. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I was watching, I was wearing case. My aunt was buying me case. She was sh- taking me to pay less. Like, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, so, not the case I, yeah, <laughs> that's, he that's had crazy. an extra strike, y'all. Yeah. 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 But when I so when I got oh, older, shacks. when I when I got older and I had my job and I was making money, that was the first thing I wanted to do, like buy clothes, buy sneakers it's because of the validation, like you know what I mean, the attention Facts. I was getting. Niggas, oh, what kind of sneakers you got? The women, the first thing they do is look at a nigga feet and they automatically Not determine. Especially they start York, calculating bro. shit, like okay, those shoes is okay, those are mirror. Like you know I what I mean? I got this so thing go, where I say I make shoe contact before I make eye contact. So for sure, everybody's yeah. looking at how you dress. Yeah, Definitely. yeah. So you know that that was a big focus for me in my early twenties, and then when I got when I started to get older, I'm like, yo, none of this shit. I had all these sneakers, like 30 sneakers, and I'm like, I'm looking at how much I paid in total, and I'm like, bro, I could have had my own crib, I could have had a car, like, huh? Do you wear them? Nah, like, exactly. I, I got sneakers, now. Nah, I barely wear them, like, right. you know what I mean? But I'm now that I'm to the point where I need, I prioritize other things, like, you get what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, I don't yeah. really care about being a flyest nigga or having a, the craziest kicks, like, I, I got other obligations I gotta worry about, right. you know what I mean? So, anything to add to that, Drew? Yeah, I wanna just say that I blame all of our parents all the people in our family around us. And the only reason why I say that is because when it comes to birthdays, uh, baby showers, and all this other stuff, we tend to, you know, shower everybody with materialistic things. When, let's say your child has a birthday, right? If you put Burberry costs about three, 400 for a pair of shoes, right? Yeah. If you just gave your child $100 and you put $300 each year, that's mm. more money than they have when they're 18 if when you didn't give them a dollar. But then they have a bank account with no money in it. No, Yo, I really no. I hate the baby showers. Yeah, now, yeah. Or the birthday parties where the parents be going all crazy, spending mad. Bro. I'm like, yeah. yo, this kid ain't gonna remember. First of all, that shit not even gonna, gonna, gonna fit after the next month. <laughs> that's so crazy. And, and, and even now as a parent, you know, I have that's kids and I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm on their body about not being so materialistic. So I'll go... With my, I'm very, I believe I'm fashionable in, in a sense. And I will go with my daughter fly, for sure. and I would walk around. We're going to pair stuff together. You're going to try it on. I'm going to support you. I'm going to cheer you on. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to show you that you don't need to wear Gucci, Prada, Louis, all that shit. Never. I do that with my sons. They don't give a fuck. But um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Them niggas will wear dirt if you put it on them. You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> but my, my daughter, she's very fashionable. She cares about how she looks. But I make sure she knows, well, let's try to focus on you building a brand that you want to, 
make for just yourself. Yeah. And rather than focusing on spending all your money on some shit you ain't you don't own and them niggas don't know you. That's what's up. That's what's up. I was buying Jordans and then motherfucking Jordan coming out with the same shit I just brought. I'm like, bro, this shit mm-hmm. don't got no value. You, you thought that I mean? shit was rare. Yeah. And he just added 2001 on it. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't Jordan, retro. Jordan, I realized retro. how pointless it was to buy Jordans. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. I, I mean, shout out to MJ always, but... For sure. Very- I got all of them. I ain't buying them no more. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I think I just think we need more financial literacy. Like, you know what I mean? It's unfortunate that I'm at my age and I'm just now really learning about financial literacy. Like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I think we need to teach our the youth um, more that. I think our parents, obviously, you know, next yeah. generation Jew is way more knowledgeable financially. So he's going to teach that. Obviously, he's going to pass mm-hmm. that down. Mm-hmm. We just got to be more focused on that. I think just, you know. I as, definitely feel like generational, like it's going to get better. Like we sure. understand now how to work the but system. But it won't better. get better if we continue to shower our children with the same material things that we want them to get over. Mm-hmm. So like if, if, even if I have, let's say I have a Gucci belt. You don't got a Gucci belt because you don't got no money to my son. You get That's my money. You get what I'm saying? Now, when you earn it, and if you could buy 10 of them, then I would suggest you buy one because that means you could afford it. Okay. But if you can't buy 10, then you ain't going to win. Nigga, you broke. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not I'm not. Here come the bars. The they always got to come out. Later in the episode. You got to earn it. I remember, like, I literally remember in high school saving up to buy a pair of Pradas just because everybody was wearing Pradas. And then I got this shit. I felt accomplished. But then after a couple of years, I'm like, bro, I waste my money on this. The rule is not be able to buy. Buy one, you gotta buy ten before you buy one. Dude, that if you should, can't that afford, if you can't afford to buy ten, then you can't buy one. I mean, I disagree a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I am single. I don't have any kids, but best mm. believe my daughter has a bank account with some money in it, and she mm. definitely does have a Gucci bag and a Versace bag and all that. And she's oh, not even, yeah. she's not even born you yet. Have a daughter. Oh. She's somewhere. <laughs> she'll come and then she'll have that. You know what I mean? So oh. it's just but like, why would you set her to that standard that you don't even live with? But I do though. You said you don't need material things. You don't need it. You don't it. need, but yeah. she likes to enjoy these things. You know bro. what I mean? I want to have a little mommy I'm, I'm and, and me bag. Like you know what I mean? We're going to step yeah. out with our little matching bags. I think yeah. that's cute, you know? I, I think it's less about the thing and it's more about the value behind it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think it's more about just teach about the value. My, they got stuff, but yeah, nah. they got things. Yeah, you know but I mean? nah. I have a I'm little good. baby, little red bottom baby shoes. Yeah. Red bottom baby shoes. Okay, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. How much you I don't know. I was going to say 250. I was selling them for 500 during the pandemic. I made a lot of money off that shit. Hey, shout out I'll to you. I'll be selling them, I okay. guess. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, it pays for itself. But you're going to hold them shit. You know, you, have to, you know when you take the nice newborn picture, like the year picture, you know, you got a little red oh, bottom. It's going to be matching. Whoever with me, you were talking you know? if you were out here buying baby ready. stuff, the nigga you were talking to then was had you. No, I just I just know I'm going to have a daughter and I'm going to have a son and I know their names and I'm just being prepared, you know? I already know. What's the thing? Of, um, the first birthday. What's the theme? You got the theme. <laughs> it's, gonna be some, it's gonna be some new. I know my out. baby shower theme. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, y'all know. Oh, you, you can't give it up. Oh, I, I thought that was it. That's oh, shit. Listen, you know they're gonna take the sauce. Yeah, that's, 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 you gotta be prepared. You know what I mean? You can't say, "Oh, I want to be a mother," and then not prepare yourself. Same way you say, "I, I want to be a wife," and you're not preparing yourself. You know what I mean? Right. You have to prepare no. for what you want. Mm-hmm. You're right. I, I, I didn't think that far yet. I didn't think that. I'm a. You know, I think the same way. I think this next topic kind of segues kind of into this financial literacy thing, but um. Should men and women think about their financial partner's financial situation before they commit to them? Hell yeah, I do. Absolutely. I definitely believe mm-hmm. that. Yeah, you should consider everything. When so, it comes so, to I, so, I walk this down. What point in the relationship do you be like, yo, what's your credit score? What's your, what's your <laughs> like, you know, how does that work necessarily? That's a question we don't ask. But that's a good. It's question. not a yeah, question we don't I ask. Never, but I'm saying at some point you gotta figure it out. On that. I say like, cause all right. So they say three months. Within three months, you know who you're dealing with. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So who the fuck said that? Who the fuck said that? I thought she said six months. months. Get with it. All right, three months. Um, I would say six. What do you months. mean? What, what you you know who you're dealing with? As in what? Oh, like um. How deep do you know? Like if y'all. Hmm. Someone explained this to me too, because it was a good question. Like, if that's the person you could see yourself being with for like, yeah. and right. sure three months after. That's the illusion time. I'm not going to, that first three months is an illusion. Yeah. 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 Oh, actually, yeah. no, no, no. What they said is that's when someone starts showing their true colors. I got a homeboy that here make them cards go beep, beep, beep. You get what I'm saying? But once that shit off, you thought he had bread. He is broke. You get what I'm saying? So, I don't know. For three months, he got you looking, you know, you happy with him. So the question so is: So after three months, you see that he broke, and mm-hmm. do you want to be with that? You won't when know. should you bring it up? Is the question? When yeah, you yeah, yeah. When, when, yeah. When should you start? Whenever you're questioning it, you should bring it up. Yeah. If you're thinking about it, Intuition, you should bring it up. Yeah. yeah. 
But is it like a too soon moment? Like, yeah. it gotta be a too soon moment. I mean, like, if you're not in a relationship with the person, I don't really think you should be talking about it for real because it's not really your boyfriend girlfriend situation. Yeah. But if y'all dealing with each other and it's progressing into something, then yeah. you could definitely have if a conversation. Y'all, if y'all know that y'all are serious about each other and you know you're looking forward to the next phase of the relationship, the minute you start having conversations about going on vacation, you gotta rent a car. How do you rent a car? Yeah, you gotta have a credit card. Yeah. These things will come together automatically. So you it's like, oh, we about to go Tesla? to California. We're gonna go to LA for a couple of days. Okay, cool. Like, da 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 credit card. They're gonna you gonna you're gonna find out because mm. you you shit gotta be but right he, to even get the car. He said his man's was doing that, right? Like he was doing flexing. What? He was hitting right. pieces, you know? The pieces, so, yeah. The pieces was hitting. Yeah, like yeah. he was really yeah. spending, that's a, right? That's a minority I mean, situation. People, yeah, some people could do it. Yeah, yeah that's a minority situation. I'm gonna be honest with you, and this might sound crazy. I've never I don't know any of my credit like my ex's credit score. Like I've never mm-hmm. asked them for their credit score. Like I, have y'all ever asked an ex for yeah. their credit score? When, when it was appropriate. Now, I've been in long, I've been in relationships for a while, and I knew their job and how much they made. He, but... he probably didn't even have no credit. Yikes. I've had credit yeah. since I was thirteen. I mean, so. we could also look at how they handle money and how they handle what they got. Because yeah. if a woman comes to me like, Lord, you know, if she's not my girl, and <laughs> yo, I need. Some, if only I had gas. If something, well, ooh, oh. Oh, That's if only minimal. I don't know but, how yo, I'm gonna get my bills. Yeah, I don't what know. If you guys are already intimate. Like yeah. you don't think she's intimate? Should... What well, you mean, like fucking? Yeah, like you don't. That's think... all. It, you got dick. I got pussy. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's fair. <laughs> so that's it. That's it. That's, 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 yeah, like, that's the logic. I, I think it's scary for a man to hear. Like when women think if men like to hear, oh. Yeah, we like we love to take care of our woman, but we don't like to hear that you. Oh, I need this, and I need because th- you need to prioritize what you need to fix for yourself. Right. I'm mm-hmm. I'm here to build with you, not do for you. Right, mm-hmm. you this have to maintain your saying. own lifestyle. If you can't yeah. maintain your own lifestyle, you should not be talking to. I anybody. have a question though. So some people, all right, some men believe that taking the girl on a date, buying her flowers. Is called simping or like tricking or whatever. Never. Mm-mm. And no. no, this is this happens though. Like they'll say they're not doing that. Like courting, they're not gonna yeah. court the girl because that's yeah. doing too much. That's not the my girl, girl yet. or a woman that's just leading them on. They're not. Yeah. No, them. like you could tell she like you. Y'all are kicking. Okay, it. if that's the context, that's that never. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. yeah I think but, simping usually refers to women that don't reciprocate the same energy. Like yeah. you know what so I'm saying? You guys, so you doing all this and she just. Not giving you no type of, she's not reciprocating she energy, like, you know what I mean? Then that's it. like, damn, yeah. you're doing Entitled. all this to her, like, you know what I mean? Mm. So, no, but if it's reciprocated, it can never be simple, yeah, like, you know what I mean? So, so you guys never heard like your friends talking about, I'm not doing for her, like, oh, yeah, I heard of say that. Yeah, yeah, but they things. never was taking her really seriously like mm-hmm. that anyway, like, you know what I mean? A woman that they take seriously, they, they would not fix their right. lips. And at I'll, least the men that we hang around just with. I also know people that would take a girl on a million trips and 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 know that she's not feeling him just so he could be around her. He's a So yeah, just to just to go back, like I, I was in that um I <laughs> cause she be watching this and I don't be want to be do, going too crazy, but um, <laughs> yeah. I had an ex Speaking that you know, pain. she had a good amount of debt, you know what I mean, because of you know, school, whatever the case was. So I knew that I had to take that into consideration. Like if this is a, gonna be yeah. a long term situation, gonna I'm it. gonna in- inherit that. So yeah. that's something I would you have get to a take prenup. In. That's just simple. I mean, that's really it. That well, sounds simple, but it's not that prenup. simple. Yeah, it's right. very simple because if you don't get a prenup, the government already has a prenup set up for you. They so do. You might as well, absolutely. Speaking of that, speak on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm getting this information I mean, from. Uh, let's say you get married to someone and you mm-hmm. have a child with them, and then you go to divorce court and you get a divorce, and then the judge is going to settle the child support. Whatever the judge is settling, that is the quote unquote prenup. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's no, how that it's whatever she decides yeah. I can or he decides I see, the judge I see, I see, whoever. I see, yeah, but the women but if you have it already no set up and paperwork, right. like here's my paperwork mm-hmm. with the lawyer that signed it before we got married, they have to go by that. They're not just gonna I, make I up mean, a number. I mean, I've been seeing instances where it they throwing them shits right in the garbage. Get yeah. a good lawyer. Yeah. Get a good lawyer. Get a good lawyer. You better have some good money. Yeah, I was willing to take that on. We obviously we not together, but you know that that was something that I took into you know consideration. But I think that you know. At some point, y'all do have to have that conversation. I know y'all gonna know where each other where we work at because you know mm-hmm. we talking to each other. Oh, I'm at work, but do we really ask like how much do you earn a year? Or, you know what I mean? We just know you at work. You, we know you're making somewhat good money, but we don't know exactly how much you're making an hour, yeah. how much you're making per year. You know what I mean? How much are you saving? So stuff like that because 
when you get into a long term relationship, a committed relationship, you have to take those into consideration. Like you know what I mean? How good they are with money? Like you know what I mean? Because yeah. if you if you're worrying about trying to um, buy a house and weddings and stuff that actually get alone, matter, whatever, you know, yeah. exactly. Like you know what I mean? Those yeah. are priorities. Like you getting a Bir- Birkin bag or whatever. That's not a priority for a relationship. Like you know, I might do that. You know, if we anniversary or something, but I can't expect you to want to live this lifestyle that's above our means True. because we got to survive out here. You know, this world is this economy. I mean, it's kind of tough out here. Right? I mean, how much does she so, have in debt? You talking about school uh, debt, right? How yeah. much does she have? That's a lot. Um, it, it, was a, it was a good amount. It was a good amount. Yeah. What was the question again? About um, when should you start t- discussing your partner's finances in a relationship? When, like, you yeah. should. when it makes sense. Man. I really, yeah. Yeah, when, when it, it makes sense. sense. I don't even know when to, but I feel like pay attention to the little things. While you guys are dating and getting to know each other. Yeah, we should always be storing data. I it's know. like you don't always want to be texting somebody or like the other way around, like texting your man, oh, I need to eat and, you know, send me 20 or, oh, I need to do this. Like you want to be able to have somebody that, you know, they're doing their own boss shit. Like, all right, he's there. He's good. He'll hit me when he get the time. I'll hit him when I get the time because we both grind in. Yeah. But it's like I feel like sometimes some dudes like... They they make more or less than their woman, and I feel like that makes them feel some type of way. But at the end of the day, if you compromise and balance everything out, you shouldn't feel no type of way. Mm-hmm. But men do get jealous. To yeah. add on to that too, if you were as a female, if you was already maintaining yourself before you got into this situation with this guy, don't expect him to take on that burden. Like, oh, I need my nails done. Yeah. Like, if he was already doing that by yourself. Keep, wait, wait, you tell know? me. That's the first time I heard a woman yeah, say that. Yeah, of course. Because even before like, I was with you, I was doing my nails. Right. My hair. I no, never... they, but they be acting like they can't do that at all no I more. And you have my, to, like, you know what I'm saying? No, I only asked my dude. I've been with him for, like, that. two, three years. I only asked him for money for my nail once. Mm-hmm. One time. That's just because I didn't have it that time. But yeah, I definitely, yeah. that's how I feel. Like, if you was maintaining yourself, don't expect somebody yeah. else to do that. I don't think it's like, I'm saying. Yeah, but, dude, it's like, like you what? go and you get your hair cut. You go and do your, yeah. whatever it is y'all do. And you know, like, you don't sit here and be like, oh, babe, I need $80 for my haircut. Oh, like, you know, you want to have a dude that is like, all right, he's not bothering you for everything. Like, you're my son or mm-hmm. like. You're like my my little nephew right. that I got. I, don't a, think so. I just feel like too, if your partner sees like say like we need a refill, we're not asking you for the money. Like your partner should fuck with you that much. Like girl, like, here, hold babe, on. Go get your you nails done. Like or do that. your your hairline is messed up. Here, babe, go, yeah, go get your haircut. Me... Like, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. That's crazy. Cause we hear that exact opposite. We be like, oh, if you wanna you want me to maintain the way you you got me, then you need to be paying towards. It's almost like a utility bill at this point. The girlfriend tax. I don't know. The girlfriend tax. The only way that I can agree with that is if like they want something specific. Like my boyfriend will tell me, or whoever I'm dealing with, or the person that I'm with, if they tell me like, oh, I want you to wear this, you know, I would like, okay, can you like sponsor that? Yeah, 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 you know what I mean. I'm leading. I'm buying it before you even. I I want you to wear this. I'm not gonna tell you. Right. That's really the only way that I see it being appropriate. You know. That's fair. Yeah, I appreciate, yeah, I appreciate y'all saying mm-hmm. that. Like I said, I promise you, we'll be here in the opposite. Let me get to this next. <laughs> Let me get to this. I promise you, though. Yo, listen, hit that like button, man. Subscribe if y'all not already subscribed. Y'all enjoying the conversation. Mm-hmm. Yo, put it. Put your thoughts in the comments. If y'all agree or disagree, let us know in the comments. Um, the let me get to this next topic. Mm-hmm. Right? It says, "Oh, so cop the merch." Oh yeah, cop the merch. Yeah. So, you know, this is why he's a regular, like, a friend of the show. Like, you know what I mean, so um, <laughs> the topic is: Are we attracted to people because we want them or because we need them? What's your thoughts Ooh. on this? I guess I could speak for myself. Mm-hmm. Is if I want you, I'm attracted to you. If I want you, I I don't feel like I really need anybody. I would love to feel like I could depend on somebody, mm-hmm. but to need, no, I don't feel like I feel like I could do it on my own if needed be. But it would be nice to have help. So if I want you, I'm gonna come get you. I don't want to do nothing on my own, to be honest. Yeah, I'm operating off of needs. I ain't gonna hold you. I don't want to do nothing on my own. I I was gonna say I'm in agreement. I'm operating off of needs. Well, I feel like you know you can always want somebody, and Mm. it can even be for a million things. Like you can want somebody just because they look good. You can want somebody just because they got money and they'll make your life easier. You can want somebody just because they make you feel good on the inside. Mm -hmm. Like Mm. you know. So I feel like if you want somebody and then like you make them feel like they need you like mentally, spiritually, sexually, it's like both in want and need at the same time. Because for me to want you, 
I'm going to end up needing you. I just feel like that's me because you're not going to sit here and need somebody you don't want. I, I think once like is I not need, enough. Like, I need you. Is that the initial? Like, the question was initially, if we're attracted to somebody, is it off of want and need, right? Do our people, um, are we more attracted to people because we want them or because we need them? Both, because you want them and need them. Because mm. you'll want somebody and then end up finding that you might really need them. But some people is not always like that. Because you could just want somebody just for looks and there's no need for you to do anything or for them to do anything. Mm -hmm. Well, That's ho just how hopefully I the older you get, your, um, your definition of attraction changes. Yeah. Like at one point in time, I wanted what all rappers want in women at mm -hmm. one point. I was attracted to a girl with a fat ass and some big ass titties and I mean, hey. a slim waist and huge hips, mm -hmm. big lips. That's what I wanted because mm -hmm. that was the thing that was being heavily promoted to me, not only in music, but through television. Life, yeah. Right. All Families, you know what brothers, I mean? homeboys. But my life. the the definition of attraction has changed as I've matured over time. And now that's not what I want anymore. If that just naturally happens, then cool, let's get with it. But what I need is somebody who's going to... Um, okay be willing to build with me, somebody who's going to listen to mm -hmm. me, who don't want to argue with me, mm -hmm. somebody that allows me to be in two places at one time. Right. If I ask you to do something, not because, not off of force, but because you got so much respect for me, you'll do that and you don't feel like- Yo, that's a, that's a good point. You know what right. I mean? And you don't feel Definitely like you, uh, like I'm trying to sun you with some right. shit like that. Right. So, and then you don't have to micromanage it, yeah, you know it's gonna so, get done. Yeah, once is like, once is sounds sexual to me. Obviously, they're gonna have things that you want, but needs is like, can you be a mother to my children? Can my, can you and my mom be in the car and go bust an errand and then her come back and she'll be like, I like that girl. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. needs have to be like things that, once again, things you can be grounded in. I agree 100%. No, that's you gotta be that. Yeah. yeah. I think I my needs think and my that. wants are kind of the same. You know, what I need is what I want. What I want is what I need. Right, that too. You know? Cause it, like where your maturity's at. I know I'm a, if I'm attracted to somebody, I'm only going after them after like paying attention to what they into and their principles. Like you can tell how somebody is by what they entertain. I, I could give y'all an example. I would say like a lot of women, because I've seen like the survey, well, not like a survey, but do, you never <laughs> see those dudes that be out on the street and they be asking like the crazy ass questions. Like, okay. would you rather a, a man be with you uh, and say yes or uh, be with a, yeah, a, a, a married man, shit. you know, whatever. The case. <laughs> Most women want to hear a man, uh, they want a man that's going to tell them yes to everything they want, mm -hmm. right? But you might need a man that's gonna tell your ass no. no so <laughs> that's a that's a great point right there. Back on, to the shopping, like you were saying with you and your shorty. Yeah, you know she, I mean? she need like, to hear that no. You know, mm -hmm. and yeah. I need her as my partner because I might come off aggressive with with my kids, and she be there as right. a nurturing, right. you know, woman that that could ground me and my children sometimes. So need. definitely, that's, need. that's what I need. That's what you need. Like, yeah. don't, don't worry, baby. He didn't mean it like that. He didn't say he was broke. You're not broke. Now, I think, <laughs> I think exactly how Wolf had explained it is how I initially thought about the question. Because, yeah. you know, like right. I said, now that I get older, my wants, and it, when I think about wants, it does come off sexual to me. Like, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, yeah, I want a shorty with a fat ass, but mm -hmm. I know that that's not the woman I need. Like, you know what I mean? Like, for long term. Like, I'm a yeah. I'm a guy who values family. I want to be married. Like, you know what I mean? So, just because aesthetically you look good and I might want you because you're aesthetically right. pleasing to me, right. it's not necessarily somebody that I need in my life. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I look at things from a need base. Like, do I need you in my life right now? Like, do I want you in my life in the future? Or do I need you in my life in my future? I look at things that from those aspects. So, that's why I understand what So, what do you feel like what you need, you're ready for? Hell yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah for sure. Absolutely. At this hell point yeah. in my life, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right so. now. Facts. But if she got a fat ass night and pretty face, then thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what yeah. it is. Yeah. 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 Don't you got it, Shorty? So, no, so, I'm just saying the general. Don't try to set him up. Don't try to set him up. Wait a minute. So 30 years from now, would you still want that same flat ass down the line? What? I'm not really into like big ass. You butt, said flat ass butt. down the line. That fat ass down the line. Like thirty years from now, like okay, you want the fat ass, the big titties, the BBL. The... Well, a nice body is a nice body. It yeah. doesn't have to be. Men are always ass. gonna be visually attracted. Yeah, it does not have to be a fat ass. Of course, ass just to... of course. But thirty years from now, down the line, is that still gonna be what you want? Does it still look good? No, right. no. Uh, you know it's not. Not, 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 not even before. You never know. Even before, even before depends, you look at. You gotta but, keep doing it. Before uh, you even look at the fact that. that does it still look good? <laughs> is she treating me good? You get what I'm saying? That too. So if I'm happy with her, you know, ultimately, like we, we I'll use the example of you know sometimes women over time gain weight. Mm -hmm. Women are not as attractive. They, you know, they get older. Crazy. They look different. You get what I'm saying? They not. 
the dime pieces when they was 21, 22, that's my 23. Point. You that's get my point right but now. if you love that person and you happy, that person make you happy, you see beyond all that shit. You know, that of true. course, if they get a certain way, you want to advise them to, you know, maintain yeah, that beauty. Yeah. Than the other. All right, baby. No, no, that's, 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 that's why it's important to build relationships more than just sex. You know what I mean? Or more than just oh, looks. Attraction. Because yeah, those, those will go saying. away eventually. Like, you know like, what I mean? So that shit I, I need companionship when I get older. I want to be lonely. Like, I'm not one of these people out here that's bragging about being lonely. I'm happy being lonely. And right. like, I'm that's not only that, women. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not that person. I want to I want to grow old, you know, with my wife and, you know, I want to have a family and, you know, I mean, nah, you know how good it feels to walk through the door and smell that oxtail and that yeah. rice. You hear me? Yes, like, you hear me? <laughs> listen, um, how much time we got left? I mean, it's, it's good. It's all good, right, good. All right. Yeah. so this topic, um, it's not a topic that we talk about often, but um, it's, it's an interesting topic, right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, somebody had what is the point of celibacy or semen retention, which is something. Um, we talked about when we had that sex expert on like, yeah. just many moons ago. Like, yeah. but um, got to join that clip. It, yeah, we got to we got to merge that one in. But what do y'all think is the po- the point of celibacy or for fellas the semen retention? What do you think is the benefit of that? Self control, right? So. Knowing your worth. Knowing your worth. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I just came out of two years of celibacy in January. Oh yeah. Yeah. I look was, at her. Wow. You know what I expected oh. coming out of it is different than what I got. Okay. Mm, yeah, I thought that I was like, okay, my my boundaries are going to be higher. What I want is going to be higher. I didn't think that like what was available to me was going to be much less than what I wanted. Mm. You know? So then when I realized these are my options of men and they're all like emotionally unavailable, they don't want a relationship. And I, I realized too that I end up dating the same man over and over again. So I started mm. to reflect like there got to be something in me if I keep attracting these men. Like is there a part of me that I'm emotionally unavailable? Mm. Like what She's parts fair. of me am I not like... Am I holding off to? Because it was always be the same man. He just got out of out of a serious relationship with a girl that he thought he was gonna be with forever, mm. and then they broke up, and then he met me, and he likes me, but not enough to be in a relationship. I, I'm gonna tell you right oh. now, ladies, Damn. that is a lie. Same. I use that lie a thousand <laughs> times. I use it a couple. Wait, what? Feeling what, seen. What I'm gonna let you. That he doesn't a want a relationship. He doesn't like you. Oh. you know and mean? sorry, yeah. niggas, That's if you watching, I'm bursting your bubble. Yeah. Yeah. Women, yeah. ladies, yeah. this yeah. is a lie. Yeah. This is the biggest lie you'll hear from a man. I'm telling you, like we say this all the time. Yeah. That's, in the that's, like, this nigga that's, you that's, always that's to on keep himself, you yeah. close right. and you might feel like oh relationship is coming we, yeah. we dragging right. your ass along buying more time mm-hmm. yeah buying more time right. and then you're not right. oh he just got out of one I don't want to rush him right. yeah, but give me some pussy you know what I'm saying put it in yeah. the time and the minute that they leave you they're in a relationship so it's like you know but I feel like we do have to hold up a mirror to ourselves and like look within too Yeah, because if you keep attracting to the same person over and over again you're the common mm-hmm. denominator, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I think, um, you know, when I looked up, you know, semen retention for men, mm-hmm. um, I think there is a level of um, self reflection there. There's a level of not always because when guys we tend to like prioritize sex and women a lot, like you know what I mean. So I when you are practicing, so? understatement, right? When, when you <laughs> when you are practicing that semen retention or celibacy, mm-hmm. I think that there's a level of clarity there. You know what I mean? There's more focus there. You're not always Absolutely. trying to chase the next piece of pussy. Like you know what I mean? Absolutely. There's a sense. You know what I mean? So I think there is benefits to the semen retention. There's not really enough. not as much data out there. To, you know what I mean? Like, but you got more energy. You can focus on other shit. I ain't yeah, like, a lot of shit no accomplished. Yeah, I mean, that's. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's a benefit. Right? Well. You don't got to. So, I think there's a level of clarity. I mean, even for women, um, you know, celibacy is not exclusive to women, obviously. But I mean, just in general, when you're not always consumed with um, sex, we on her women say something. What's that? Um, energies is the uh, yeah, exchanging energies. And if you were spiritual, uh, so I, 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 I heard there's no dumb question. So this question might be dumb because semen retention is like you don't nut at all, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, right. But but like, so would that be the same for because women? They be saying they celibate, but they be playing with their pussies. So oh. I like, I want to know, is it the same? Because you're not celibate if you're still doing it yourself, like a typewriter. I mean, in it, the, the crib, it depends right? on how you define it. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Because I think, yeah. think they're talking about just the act of intercourse. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Semen so we're like good. They are. Yeah, but that's for men, right? Like, no, no, no. Well, I would mean, it be for women too? Yeah, so I mean, celibacy is like not sharing your body with other people. Yeah. Okay. So mm-hmm. semen retention partners. is like you're not even masturbating. Yeah. yeah you're okay. not even masturbating. Okay. okay. Yeah. Wait, what's or that? maybe you could masturbate, masturbate. you just not release. It depends. But yeah. I think it's just right, not right. releasing. But if you're going, if you're going to practice semen retention, you probably shouldn't even be masturbating because it's gonna 
Yeah, because we know. We know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. true, true, true. You know what I mean? It's Who's gonna that, I think I seen. Um, ain't no nigga gonna start a job and ain't gonna finish. finish it. Yeah. 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 And Ali Chopper said something like that. Like he was, he was practicing. I think that, and he would, he would yeah. do that, but he just wouldn't let himself release. You know what I mean? And I yeah. guess you know, I don't. Wouldn't that's that be too way. much? That's like, don't you get blue balls from shit like that? I don't know. Like, it depends. Like if you, if you're familiar with like tantric sex and like kundalini and shit like that, you nah. can practice that. Why you're actually Kudalini, having like that's yeah. not like some pasta. We gotta have a conversation because what is the world? That sounds like a and dish. more men probably need to uh, practice that anyway. So yeah. it's like you in the bedroom, and when it's time for you to you get into that point, mm-hmm. you find a way to keep it low, and then once you keep it low, it's like oh, I'm good to go. You know what I yeah. mean? I got more energy to you know. Keep going. You talking about edging? Essentially edging. Yeah. Essentially it's edging. You know what I mean? But it's like they, they say like when a guy releases, that's like a they says that's the equivalent to like his life playing force. a whole football game or something like that. It's a lot of energy Word. that comes yeah. with yeah. That's why they don't tell that's why they yeah, tell boxers not like to have it. sex. Nigga because don't you know like what I mean? Know. It Nigga, will you know knock you it's out. like you yeah. get one off real quick, you done. That's but I yeah, but I ain't no like a whole football game. I don't know about all that, but you know how I feel though. You ain't but it's something something crazy like that's why they tell boxers. They tell boxers not to have sex for like three before months before the fight. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shit, like, yeah, I because I, I don't know the science behind it, but that's what they recommend them. You I know what I mean? So, wow. you go on that ring, you weak in the knees, my boy. Bro. You're not hungry, you're not sharp. Bro. That's it. That's crazy. I mean, I recommend everyone to, you know, have some time to themselves where they're not being sexually active. The first six months, I think it's going to be like the hardest, especially mm. if you're just coming off of like doing I it agree. routinely. But after the, first, after the first six months, like, you won't even. And it's let like me nothing. say something for the niggas who like struggle talking to women, because I was there's a lot of people who like get in those environments and they feel mm-hmm. nervous you know mm-hmm. if you not if you're practicing semen retention and you're not like you know you're not ejaculating you get to a point where you hungry for like female attention so a lot of the time when a nigga is nervous to talk to a woman it's because he's thinking too much it's not nothing is instinctual when it should be oh, mm-hmm. the words gonna flow I'm just saying, that shit gonna flow you being charismatic yeah. you bouncing off and shit you being witty and shit and you wonder why it's because you really want her a lot of time when you Pleasing yourself all the time, you're not hungry for a woman. So it's kind of hard to be the, the 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 hunter that you need to be for shorty. You know what I mean? Because you believe in yourself all the time. Which I don't even believe in jacking off for that reason to be. It's not to say it don't get done, but it's like I don't believe I in it. it because my lady gotta give me a helping hand. I ain't doing this. I, believe I don't know. That's not you. Find you a person. Man. It's still masturbation. For Find you a person. Man. I ain't get the coochie that night. Yeah, nah. you I don't like to masturbate <laughs> because at the end it's just like <laughs> You look to the left, you look to the right, there's no, no one there to cuddle. I invested like, in a person. I think it's way better, worth your time. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's fair. Just yeah. one one and done. Y'all just need one person and so done. So I, I don't mean, uh, what if you're in a relationship and your partner want to do that? Would that be something you guys would be willing to do? Like, so if y'all man be like, yo. Yeah, but he won't do it. That's, <laughs> <laughs> he won't do it. That's a little sus though. Y'all had sex and then after, it's like, mm, I think I want to be celibate. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, like tough, what are, like, are you making me feel I mean, bad? you feel what like happened? insecure or something. Yeah. Like, you ain't doing the job. Nah, I mean, I was in a relationship where we didn't even do it for three months. Yeah. And it just blinked. Yeah. You know no, what but I mean? they're saying like, y'all Yeah, to make a conscious choice is wanna... different. Yeah, y'all but, like, had sex and now he just possible. like, you know. But it I depends mean, on where he is in his spiritual yeah, or religious journey. Like maybe yeah. he just might be finding well, his face. One part of my life, fine. I felt like I was having too much that's sex fine. and I <laughs> wanted to like pull back <laughs> from it. Because I felt like it was always on my mind. Yeah. So even if after we finished fucking, I'm thinking about fucking again. You know what I'm saying? Part of me felt like, yo, I need to like stop thinking about fucking so much. You get what I'm saying? So. I don't if, think it would be an issue in my house, but if y'all in a relationship, you I know about your goals and you know about mine. Six months go by, we haven't made any significant progress oh, no. to that. Why is that? Because we got our mind focused on all these other things. Maybe we should try getting grounded real quick, reining our attention and our focus in, and let's go. Let's go after ours, you know. So mm-hmm. maybe you can practice after we just had sex. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So we'd be like, you know what? Let's focus up. You know what I mean? Let's really be on some shit. We got goals. We ain't got no closer to our shit. It's right. been a year. We've been talking about. It. Oh, I want to go here. I want to go do this thing for like 365 days. Now we ain't got no closer to it. Right. Mm. So maybe we hold back real quick and we really, because I'm telling you, when you hold back, it, you change. Yeah, bro, much, I'm telling you, much more clarity you there. Change. Much yeah. more, like, you know what I mean? You change. Start, so y'all see that booty walking into the shower. You're like, oh, word, let me get started. <laughs> that, 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 that temptation <laughs> is crazy. <laughs> I ain't going to hold you, like, you know what I mean? Gotta, like, Shit, I'm dirty. That temptation. <laughs> yeah, that temptation is kind of tough. Like, and then we live in this overly sexualized society. And get on social media you while you are saying. Like, get on social media. Make sure you your ass. No That's Tumblr, like, none of soon that. As you, as soon as you go to the, the For You page, Explore page, Big Booty Bitches, are you like, No, oh. no, no. Uh, no. What you the look For at. You yeah. page, the For You page gives you what you look up and oh what you look God. at. I've been seeing that on girls' no, phones too, look, so. Let God. me show, open your For 
for you page. Ooh. Open your for you page. Because I've been telling my nigga this all the time. Like, let me see your I recent, let me see your recent emojis. Let me see your for you. Oh, yeah. Because look, mine look, is a lot of sports and rap. And look, ain't no big booties over there. Show, show the camera. Show the camera. Huh? Show the camera. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Ain't no big booties here, y'all. You know I'm saying live sports. Emojis. Let me see. It's solid. It's solid. I'm telling you, but he don't. He don't it's don't a, it's a blank message. It's solid. It's, it's a. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's an eggplant emoji in there. Like, oh, I'm saying, like, emojis. Algorithm don't lie, man. Don't. I mean, that for you page stuff. Even he can vouch. That for you page stuff. That's you. It is off of. There's a lot of melanin in black women on there. There's a lot of melanin. But they're not big. They're not big booty. They just they they actually natural. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, natural women. They hear you. Like hair and food. So yeah, no, it's what you look up. And to the dudes that look up porn, like if you're in a relationship and you look at porn, you're looking at all of this Geronimo ass throwing back. It's very Geronimo. 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 Okay. I'm Gucci. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, natural, yeah. Valley, yeah. Valley, yeah. Valley. no natural. No natural. There's some, there's some women on here. You know, I, I like to protect my mind though. I ain't gonna right. hold you. That, no. that is a fair. You it's do the first line of defense. Mind, like, That's what I'm trying to say you right now. Earthy? Am I earthy? Like, like Give me more context. You know, it's funny. A nigga called me uh, Eric Badu one time. He was playing. Oh, so I like that. Shout out to Nim. I like that. Yeah, he played. Eric Badu was playing me, bro. Like I'm saying, like yo. Damn, yeah. you gotta come out with That's your the Tyrone. That's the big bong nigga, right? And like, yeah, I mean, I am stuff. into all those things for okay. sure. Yeah, sea moss, yoga give me in the morning. Vibe, but that's so is this nigga? He ain't earthy. You know what I'm saying? How can we not earthy? <laughs> well, like, 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 people use statistics. earthy as a different way. Because, I mean, like Shea Butter Twitter type. Yeah, like oh, you got your natural deodorant. Your arms still stink. Happy to earthy. I am not my hair. You know what I mean? Type earthy. Shout out to Indiari. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to shout out to Indiari. Listen, this last type I want to get into, right? Um, does social media encourage negativity and online bullying? Bullying. Absolutely. People Speaking hide it. behind their keyboard, mm -hmm. their phone. You know, sometimes you'll meet these people in person and they don't even speak. They're oh, they so facts. quiet. The keyboard warriors, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Big facts, yeah. yeah. They're so quiet. People, people so hiding quiet. their view of their view. You know how you can hide your how many how many likes you get? Yeah. That is so stupid. I do that. I just don't. I just think it's just dumb. Like but who why? cares? It's stupid. This guy that I'm dating, he was like, oh, did you buy your followers? Because I have, I thought I have you close... were single. Wait a minute. Well, I'm dating him, but we're not like in a relationship. But yeah. I have I have close to 4,000 followers on Instagram. He was like, you only get less than 100 likes. I'm like, I'm not looking at that. I don't oh, care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. care. Yeah. That's, like, that's, that's why I don't care. Like, that might be the like, first time I heard some sassy shit. <laughs> nah, like, I post because I want to post because I like it. And that's I want my wild. girls to be like, oh, that's fire. I don't care about who likes it. I don't go through that. I don't go through my view count. I don't go through who's looking at my stuff. I don't at all. That's yeah. okay. I'd rather That's they okay. change, like I see on Twitter, they have like a, a view, like yeah, number, just, like, you know what I'm saying? Just, like, yeah, I'd rather them have that because there's a lot of ghosts, there's a lot of people that see a shit and they won't like it. Not because they don't right. fuck with you, it's just like they're just scrolling. That's I'd rather see a view too. count, like, you know what I mean? Then it lets me know at least, ah, you, some, people seen it, you know what I mean? Whether y'all double clicked it, it's still the same thing, like, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, the views yeah. and the likes are the same? No. On Twitter no. specifically, like, okay. well, it's, it's not, it's not, it's different. But on Twitter, I see if somebody posts it, it can have no likes, but it'll show you damn near yeah. that, like, so, fifty thousand like, people so seeing it, seen like, it. You know what I'm saying? How do you like, feel about like you post a reel on Instagram, the views don't match the likes? Like you, you post the well, reel, I mean, it's also like, like social media also has like different algorithms. But I heard that things go viral on TikTok and it's fake viral. Like they just make it look like it's going viral, oh. but it's really not. So I mean, everything can be artificial. We don't know what's yeah, real. Uh, to, yeah, to be let's we, we talk about the algorithm. Let's just go back to the, the <laughs> confidence and, and bullying. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, but that goes into it because it's like bullying because
can add toward negativity in a person's life. Mm -hmm. One million percent. You got to protect your mind against social media. Like social yeah. media is working you every time you open it, whether you know it or not. Unbeknownst to you, it's finding a way to get, it, to get into your subconscious. Um, I mean, it really is, bro. It does. So, like you got to really make sure your social media is set up in a way it's conducive to what's best for you. Like motivating shit, at, inspirational ass shit. You're not seeing things that want to make you pick up some alcohol when you know you're trying to stop or you, you got to make it work for you. It's, a, it's just a tool at the end of the day. But know? social media is actually designed to work in your favor. People just don't use it that way. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think no. it was designed for the now. I think it is just becoming a, a breeding space for just negativity. Like, you know what I mean? Because especially, you know, even with our podcast, we get hundreds of comments, you know what I mean? And, you know, um, even when we go viral, even when it's not even our page, we go viral. Like, you know, you have to train yourself because in the beginning, I was very much reading the comments and I was I was right. trying to respond to everything. Like, right, yo, y'all right, trying right. to assassinate my character. Like, you know what I mean? So right. yeah, now it's to the point, like, you know, I could read the comments. I'm like, yo, these are just internet people. Like, I don't know nothing. Yeah. But there are some people who take that to heart. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So um, when you have a public platform like ours or just, I've, I've never seen a positive comment section in any way. Like, you know what I mean? Maybe there probably is. Like, you know what I mean? But for the most part, when you have public platforms where people give their opinions mm -hmm. openly, you're going to get some people that's just going to hate on you, that's going to bully you, that's going to say negative things just because they can, you know what I mean? That's all it comes down to. Just simply because they can and there's no ramifications. It ain't like you going to pull up on them, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, you going to see them in the street. They hide me on yeah. fake profiles, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, and hurt people hurt people, too. Yeah, yeah. so, you know. And then yeah. even, I think we even trained because um, Ari Lennox is somebody recently, and this happens to a lot of celebrities, but she was upset because somebody had in the comments said that she had looked like um like a, a pit bull, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, but you know, mm -hmm. um and which was unfortunate because I think she's, she's very attractive like, you know by the way. Saying? But she's very attractive, but yeah, if you go to that same comment section, you will see a ton of compliments and like you're beautiful this down the third. Yeah, but but we sometimes those. we program Focus our brains to look yeah. on a negative. We'll mm -hmm. skip right through that. Like I have I do that I still do that. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. we'll skip right through all the positive and the up the uplifting shit and see that one comment. You don't even love your mother. I'm like I, what do you mean? Like what you mean? Like you know what I'm yeah. saying? So, yeah, like, so why yeah. do you feel you do that though? Of what? As far as going get, to the negative comments and not the positive I, I just human like not just me, just humans in general. We just for some reason we saw attracted to the negative. This is why a lot of your favorites, um, a lot of the TV, reality TV shows, they promote negativity because we're so drawn to that. You know, nobody mm -hmm. wants to see yeah. happy. So yeah. you like social media ain't about seeing happy. Yeah, it's about everyone. flaunting and seeing fights. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Or seeing some ratchet ghetto. Like, we also want to like so, you know defend I mean? our character. You know, if we see something yeah, that's incorrect, that's exactly. you're like, oh, that's not me. Exactly. You know, yeah. that's what it is. So, so. Even yeah. for example, the Why Eli episode, that it had different moments on, on there, but if we didn't show that clip, we probably wouldn't have been as big as we are right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's one of our biggest moments to propel our, our show to what it was. Yes. And ultimately, people thought it was something it wasn't. You know, at the end of the day, we still hug, said goodnight, get home mm -hmm. safely. Yeah, we was all laughing. Like, yeah, you know what But I'm mind saying? you, that whole episode, it's just like our, um, even most recently with our Umar episode, you know, it was we talked about a lot of stuff within mm -hmm. our community. But the main part that attracted people was the the back and forth dialogue that we had with Umar with mm -hmm. when right. it pertains to a certain <laughs> topic. Yeah, it's or like they want us to with. fight Umar. It was, Umar it was, to fight it, us. Yeah, it's literally a ten minute segment. We had a, over a two hour show. The mm -hmm. ten minutes that people are so stuck on that, even though we talked about a lot of it. But again, we are so we want to go to the stuff that trick that's triggering. Like you know what I mean? Because yeah. it just makes us feel like right, I want to engage. People tell us all the time. And don't even we can speak on this because we got a lot of experience. But oh, you need to pour some more positivity and stuff like that. They didn't watch that. Do, we, we but do, but that. It it's, doesn't. It's not gonna get the same type of attention. Yeah, that's something like that's that. triggering. Yeah. The, 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 the post drama. that's triggering or that's controversial yeah. is going to make people want to get on the, the keyboards and, right. and say that's something. Like, you know what I mean? Though. So, like, I mean, it does. But is it though? Like, is it really? I know I could post. I could post a thirst trap and get two hundred likes, and I will mm. post a little selfie twenty. Yeah, you post up your new car. They talking about why it's not a two door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's dumb. Yeah, yeah, but people do that. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, uh, if there's people that I'm telling you, I swear to God, y'all. Y'all think y'all speaking to somebody, but it might be, they be triggering black women, white women. It, it might be a fat white guy that that's acting like he's a black woman that's mm -hmm. angry. You, you don't know who you're talking yeah. to. Right. There's yeah. bots, there's AI to engage, Absolutely. to make your, your your brand look bad. Absolutely. There's so much- Spamming and, even, and all that, yep. I even seen how, um, shout out to O'Shea Duke Jackson. He was just doing a reaction video and um, he was talking about like people doing like, you know, podcasts and like men were calling you know, it was a group of OnlyFans women, and the men were like on the comments, you know, calling them whores, sluts, this and other. But she looked at her OnlyFans subscription number. It was like let's say a thousand, 
And then by the time she got off the show, it was like, went up 12,000. Yeah, of course. Wow. So the same dudes that's out here calling you this, that, and another in your comments be loving you mm -hmm. behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. So like it's we can't same. just, we just can't look through an illusion of what people are saying um, on these social media. It's fake. It's all Very fake. Very much. It's and fake. And what they say, envy is a form of admiration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a thin line between love and hate. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So again, I think people just, we just have to, because social, it's hard. It, it's hard to even say social media is still new, but people are getting used, still getting used to how to and navigate the online yeah, world. You know what I mean? For humanity. especially online bullying, even though that's been a thing. They masked that shit now, yeah, boy. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's Some nigga thing, told bro. me. He said, "Yeah, I don't got a job. I got time." I said, "Once, I swear to God, this <laughs> oh, is like a while right. back. This is like when we first started on the page, and that's when I was like." Oh shit, he do got. To, I don't. I'm at work. Like I'm never <laughs> arguing with anybody on this shit again. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I really learned. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's, that's deep. That's deep. Like, I got time. Yeah. That's deep. Yeah, motherfuckers will find the smallest. You know what I mean? Insecurity about you. Like it, it's just again, it is a breeding form for you know yeah. like hate and stuff like that, bullying. But you know, hopefully. To get better, I don't, I don't know if it's gonna sometimes be just right don't read the comments. Like, that's easier I know said than done. Yeah, easier said have than to. done. Yeah, but so, like something was posted and I was a part of it, and I just didn't read the comments because I knew it would be negative mm -hmm. just because of what was posted. Yeah, and, and, and like I, I said, we piece. we don't necessarily we, we figured out how to navigate yeah. that space, but you know, we try to we want to protect our guests as much as possible because we you know, we've said it on countless occasions we don't condone harassment, bullying, any of that you know, right. stuff, but again. We are a public platform. We don't control who comes on the platform. The algorithm will feed it to people because X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there are people that will go in the comments and harass the guests, for example, um, and things of that nature. And that Definitely. will fall back on us because people feel like, you know, oh, those yeah. are your fans. Yeah. I'm like, why, why are you saying yeah. that? These they, are your followers. Some like, people ain't even following us that be right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, yeah, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know. That's the internet. People got finstas. Yeah, that's a fact, man. Say so. something. Yeah, man. So, anyway, man, I appreciate y'all for pulling up. Again, let them know where they can follow you at. You can follow me at tiana.com underscore, and you can follow my business page at draped.inc. Yes, you can follow me at Ashley's World, X underscore. Okay, period. And you can follow me at imgenesis.nyc on all platforms. Mm -hmm. And friends of the show, Wolf, man, let them know yeah, again where they can follow you at, man. And you, you shout out your podcast real quick. Um, yo, you can follow me at underscore Wolf Taylor on Instagram, and I would love. For any new support, any like, any share, any comment on my podcast, it's called Halfway Up. I'm going to have these gentlemen on it very soon. Mm -hmm. What about um, us? I would love to have y'all on okay, it. It's a, it's a beautiful podcast. It really <laughs> is. It's, it's very beautiful. It's very visual heavy. And um, yeah, come by. Let me know what you think. Yeah, yeah. Fact. Cool. It's fact. Yeah, appreciate y'all again for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like button. I know y'all enjoyed the conversation, man. And I appreciate you ladies. I, lo I like your personalities, your yeah, demeanor, how you carry yourself, man. I appreciate y'all, too. Cop them. Oh, yeah, my fault. He had the merch on. I promise, you he had the I promise you he did have the merch Wait, on. Wait, can I question this, though? What black sex lens? I don't it? know. I just had a wet t-shirt concert. Oh, 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 I'm just saying, like, I don't know who was having a wet t-shirt contest with. I'm talking to a female about a wet t-shirt. Right, it was raining outside, we got drenched. I'm just saying, like, you was there we were all there. It was and all there. And, and, and I, I was the man that protected, and protected all the women. Yes. I protect all the women. Subscribe to the Patreon if you want to see the footage, he man. Did. You know it was saying? giving real, right. like, You know what I'm saying? Shivering. I was about to carry them on my back. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I told you what I'm saying. I told you what I'm saying. Right. Oh, I got yeah. to subscribe to the Patreon. Join the membership, man. We appreciate y'all for tuning in. Yeah.